from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Sibanya Gold has accelerated its ambitions of winning the hearts and minds of its workers as progress is made on the gold miners' commitment, accountability, respect and enabling or care program. Natasha Urdendahl has the story. Sibanya's ambitions of ensuring every worker is healthy, housed and debt-free is gaining traction with the company actively trying to understand and address the underlying challenges faced by all its employees. The potential benefits to Sabanya are less disruptions, increased productivity and improved profitability. Sabanya is attempting to ease workers' indebtedness through its financial education program in Mali, while narrowing the wage gap and lifting the standards of living through gain share initiatives, which aim to align and reward employees in line with investors and management. In addition, transformation, education and training programs through the Sibanye Academy in Randfontein continued, and the group has moved to ensure the sustainability of the regions in which it operated, with local economic development, education and small and medium-sized enterprise facilitation. Efficient health care and the resultant healthy, productive workforce has also featured strongly in Sibanye's strategy, with several initiatives targeting preventative health care accessible health services and the mitigation of occupational health currently underway. This includes the building of a new medical centre at a nearby community. With the migrant labour system, predominant at many of Sabania's operations, an unsustainable and critical issue, the company was working on finding ways to get workers home more frequently through shift changes and potential four-day weeks. In line with this, Sabania has also implemented a housing home ownership programme along with his hostel conversions projects. Sibanya's Senior VP for Human Capital, Adam Mucinia, tells us more. We, as Sibanya Gold, we have been in existence since last, last, last year. So one, one of the critical um, you know, steps that we took was to say, we care much about our employees. We are where we are because of the employees. So the care value strategy that care values strategy that we have just implemented, or we are busy rolling out for that matter. It's it's not a question of being rhetoric, but to live to to live that uh, that those values, and it is through so many inter in initiatives and inter uh, interventions that we are putting together as a company that are, it's, that that earmarked to to improve the the conditions of the living conditions of our employees, and most importantly also to increase um, appreciating that the value that they are contributing, they also have to also to, to benefit out of the good that they're contributing to the organization. To improve our productivity, we, we know that we have got to, to, to get uh, the buy-in by, uh, by, by our employees. And therefore, the, the unions, um, um, all, all of them, the, you know, the recognized unions that we have, uh, we value them, they are our stakeholders. The capital projects in particular on the, the housing um, ownership scheme, under housing ownership scheme, we're not necessarily doing it for the compliance only, but we're doing it because it's right, it's part of our long-term strategy care, care where we care much about our employees, so that at the end we provide um, access to our home ownership or even a decent um, housing accommodation in our hostels. And therefore, any money that we can spend in either of those two projects, it's well spent and I think it's supporting our long-term view and a strategy on um, improving the, uh, the living conditions of our employees. Other news making headlines this week, US multinational GE commits 700 million rand in response to South Africa's localization plans. Minister Lindiwe Zulu sees entrepreneurship as a toy toy of a different type. And the construction of the Gauteng Nerve Center is well underway. US technology multinational GE has unveiled a 700 million rand commitment designed to support innovation as well as enterprise and skills development in South Africa. This is a 700 million rand opportunity for the customer innovation center and the supplier development vehicle but it's part of approximately 5 billion rand that we are investing in Africa in the last couple years and the next few years. South Africa is one of our most important countries for GE. And we've developed some very important collaborative relationships here as well. We've been uh, making locomotives, as Tim said here, for the last uh, six years, five, six years. 
Um, but I think one of the more important things we did this past, this year was in March we signed an agreement with Transnet Rail Engineering where the two companies, ours and theirs, will use our assembly facility in Pretoria to basically use that as an export uh, uh, position for us for exporting into the rest of the African continent. Small Business Development Minister Lindiwe Zulu has promised that her nascent department will soon finalize its plans for stimulating entrepreneurship and for the creation of an environment that is far more friendly to small and medium-sized enterprises. Now we say the next 20 years, 30 years and beyond will focus on the economy. I think we are going to start our own doi doi. And this will be a doi doi of a different type. It will be a doi doi that is going to be harnessing the energy and directing that energy uh, to positive contribution towards the economy, but also improving the lives of ordinary people. Construction of the Gauteng Nerve Centre, or GNC, which will control all commuter rail traffic in Gauteng, is well underway, with the roof scheduled for completion this month. The construction of the offices and the GNC Crisis Centre is also well underway. The GNC will be the control centre in Gauteng. It will uh, control the, the trains uh, from, the, from Soweto, from the south of, of uh, Gauteng, right up to the north of Pretoria and from the east in uh, Ranfontein uh, all the way to Springs. Uh, the uh, GNC is, uh, is a nerve centre. It's designed to have a number of backup systems, both on the telecommunication, so there's communication to the outside, there's video links uh, with backup systems, there's uh, uh, power backup systems, there's first of all two feeds from two different sources which uh, supply the building. Uh, these feeds, uh, uh, should they uh, fail at any one time, they will uh, be backed up with two uh, large 800 kVA rotary UPSs um, which uh, are housed on site and which are able to power the building for, for, 20, uh, for 48 hours. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.